The story of James Jonathan's cyber attack on NASA is one of the most notorious incidents in the history of cybersecurity. It all began in the late 1990s, when Jonathan was just a teenager growing up in Canada. He had always been fascinated by computers and technology, and had a natural talent for programming and hacking. Before we start our video, I just wanted to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss out on any of our future content. At the age of 15, Jonathan began exploring the world of computer hacking in earnest. He started by breaking into local computer systems, and quickly progressed to more challenging targets. One of his primary targets was NASA, the U.S. space agency that is responsible for some of the most advanced and cutting-edge research in the world. Jonathan's first attempts to hack into NASA's systems were relatively simple. He used basic social engineering techniques to trick employees into giving him access to their accounts, or to install malware on their computers that would allow him to steal data or control their systems remotely. Over time, however, Jonathan became more sophisticated in his methods. He started using more advanced techniques, such as exploiting vulnerabilities in software and hardware, or using backdoors to gain access to systems without being detected. He also began collaborating with other hackers, sharing information and tools to improve their effectiveness. In 1999, Jonathan and his fellow hackers set their sights on NASA's computer systems. They began by scanning the agency's networks for vulnerabilities, looking for weak points that they could exploit. They soon found a vulnerability in one of the agency's servers, which they were able to exploit to gain access to NASA's mainframe computers. Once inside NASA's systems, Jonathan and his team were able to wreak havoc. They installed backdoors on the agency's servers, allowing them to access the systems at any time. They also stole a vast amount of data, including sensitive information on NASA's missions, research, and employees. The attack was devastating for NASA. The agency's computer systems were shut down for 21 days, causing significant disruption to its operations. The cost of repairs was estimated to be around $41,000. The theft of data was also a major concern, as it could have put NASA's research and employees at risk. After the attack, Jonathan was eventually caught and charged with multiple counts of hacking and theft. He pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to six months in jail, as well as probation and a fine. The story of James Jonathan's cyber attack on NASA is a cautionary tale about the dangers of cybercrime. It shows how even the most advanced and secure computer systems can be vulnerable to attack, and how a single individual with the right skills and motivation can cause significant harm. It also highlights the importance of strong cybersecurity measures, including regular testing and updating of systems, to prevent such attacks from occurring in the future.